everybody, it's the Lawn Gnome, and welcome to this very special series of videos. As I had mentioned in my recent update, I am actually starting on my thesis paper for my master's program. And I'm sure that some of you who are watching this are either in high school, some of you may already be going to college or even graduating college. Heck, some of you might actually be doing research papers or capstone papers or thesis papers of your own. I am here to give you guys a small series of videos which is going to give you some ideas and some insight and some tips based on how I've been doing on my own research project. I'm already two weeks into it, and I don't really know how many videos this series will be. It will probably be somewhere between five and ten. But what I'm going to do is start at the beginning, and I'm hoping that you will take this advice to heart when it comes to you doing your own thesis or any research project that you may have. So let's start with the first video topic, and that is the introduction. There's no better way to say it. It's called planning ahead. Now some of you may in fact know that in your curriculums there will be a research paper or a report or a project that will have to be due by the end of the semester. When you first hear about it, and I'm talking about the very first day, it doesn't matter if it's a week from now or a month from now or maybe the end of the year, start planning now. And a great way to do that is part of my second tip. Get a calendar. Now get a specific calendar. They're very, very inexpensive to get at a Staples or any other retailer that sells school or office supplies. Try and get one that actually goes by the weeks, as you can see the one that I have here. You can break down your daily schedule from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. and even put more stuff at the bottom. Just get a calendar where you can literally go into every single day of the week and plan your schedule out by the hour. It doesn't necessarily have to be entirely work-related. Sometimes I use that for the sake of vacation planning, for the sake of weekend planning, just knowing that what I have to do is there to remind me that I have to get everything done. Heck, if you guys really want to see something even more interesting, this calendar is only for YouTube videos, so it just shows you how busy that I can be. Now, even when you see something that may not be filled, like this whole section for July was completely empty, and now it's filled with video ideas. The same thing can be said about my main work calendar. So that's what it is. Get a calendar and start planning ahead. Then, when you actually do plan on getting all of that together, Pick your topic if it's not something that's going to be assigned to you. Think about something in the nature of your class that you truly have an interest in and start just casually for about 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, go on the internet and see exactly what comes up in a Google search on the topic of your choosing. If you see a lot of good websites that actually feature articles and click on those and just give them a quick read, that means that when the time comes for you to research your paper, there may be a good chance that your professor or your teacher may give you certain guidelines and certain tools that you need to use. So if you can find a lot of information on your topic just by a random Google search or a Bing search or whatever search engine that you use, that means you probably will have an easy road in regards to gathering your research from the required tools. Also take the time to reach out to your teacher or professor casually, or speak to them after class, I usually like to send an email before the class actually starts just to let them know that I'm looking forward to a productive semester. That's going to give the professor a lot of favor towards you in their eyes and say, this guy or this girl truly means business. And there also may be a second thing in regards to preparation, an introductory essay. I had that, and that was basically where I had to give a one-page summary of what my topic was going to be about. This is one of the most crucial parts of a thesis or any kind of writing project because it's going to basically make you sum up your entire research paper in about a paragraph or possibly a page or more. So when you do that, that means that you basically are writing your paper in the condensed form. You're going to know what your intro is going to be about, the body of your paper, if it's going to be a topic of arguments with two different sides, you'll know that there's going to be a section for your pros and a section for your cons. So there you go. That's the best way to get started. Research ahead, do some quick browsing, get a calendar to plan out your activities, reach out to your teacher, and write in your introductory essay. So that wraps up part one of this video series on how to write a proper thesis, paper, or project. And the next time that we get together, we're going to talk about getting into the research. We're going to talk about how we're going to take a look at all the sources that we need for our assignments, but more importantly, how we're still going to be able to keep it organized. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Actions speak louder than words.